Okay, let's go through part G of these questions. And uh, this one here is again, we're going to abuse the double angle formula for sine again for this part here. So we want to uh, compute the product of the odd degrees up to 89. So uh, sine of one degree times sine of three degrees times dot dot dot, right, times sine of 89 degrees. Okay, so this is what we want to calculate. Uh, one thing, yeah, so the first thing I did was I multiplied the top and bottom by all of the missing even degrees. Okay, so this would be equal to sine of one degree times sine of uh, two degrees times dot dot dot, all the way up to sine of 88 degrees and last sine of 89 degrees. So I've got, uh, I've multiplied the top and bottom by all of the even ones. So then that means I have to multiply the bottom by all of the even ones. So sine of two, we'll have sine of four degrees. We'll have a lot of other ones, right? We'll also have sine of the last one, which I multiply was 88. Righty. So we have this. Now, uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take the first and the last terms, and then the first and the last terms, and then well, I'm going to group those together. So sort of just rewriting this a little bit. So the first one will be sine of one degree, and I'm going to take the last term, and the last term will be sine of 89 degrees. So we'll treat that as a group. Then the next pair will be sine of two degrees, and the second last one will be sine of 88 degrees. Okay, and then we'll keep going and do one more. Sine of three degrees, that will be paired with sine of 87 degrees. Okay, so hopefully you can see the pattern. And so what's going to happen is we're going to sandwich in from each side until we get to the middle. And what are we going to be left with? We're going to be left with sine of 44 we're going to go 44 and then we're going to take away from 89 44 times we're also going to get to a uh, sign of 46 and then we're also going to have an extra term so the very middle term which is a uh, sign of 45 degrees okay and we divide all of this by the same denominator. So I'm just going to copy and paste that here. All right, let's keep going. So we're at this this step now. And the reason why I've done that is uh, we can use complementary angles now. So sine of 89, we know that's equal to cos of one. And then sine of 88, we know that's equal to cos of two. So this is actually sine of one degree times cos of one degree. And then the second term will be sine of two degrees times cos of two degrees. And we'll have sine of three degrees times cos of three degrees. And this carries on and we get the last term, which is sine of 44 degrees. And the complementary angle is of 46 is also 44. So we have uh, not sine. Uh, cos of 46, uh, 44, right? And then let me pop that sine of 45 at the end again. Okay, and again, this whole thing, we divide by the same denominator. Now, some of you can probably see what's going to happen now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and bottom so I'm going to multiply each pair of these, so sine 1, cos 1, I'm going to multiply that by 2. And then the second term, I'm going to multiply by 2, and another by 2, and all of them up by 2. So it's going to be 2 sine of 1 degree, cos of 1 degree. And then we have 2 multiplied by sine of 2 degrees, cos of 2 degrees. And we're going to have 2 multiplied by sine of 3 degrees, 
cos of 3 degrees. And then this carries on. We're going to multiply 2 sine of 44 degrees cos of 44 degrees. And again, the last time I'm just going to pop them at the end. We'll deal with that later, sine of 45 degrees, because we know the actual value for that. That's just root 2 and 2, so we can deal with that later. Okay. So how many times do we multiply the top by 2? So we've got uh, 44 of these groups, and each of them we've multiplied by 2. So we've multiplied 2 44 times, which means I need to multiply the bottom also by 44. Uh, and multiply the bottom uh, by 44 times 2 as well uh, to balance it out. Otherwise, I've just multiplied the top by 2 to the power of 44. Okay, and then the remaining terms are still there. So just pop that there. Okay, and like I said, we're going to abuse the double angle formulas because now we can see 2 sine angle cos angle is just going to be sine of 2 times that angle. So this is going to be sine of 2 degrees. And the second one is going to be sine of 4 degrees. And the third one is going to be sine of 6 degrees. And we're going to have up until sine of double 44, which is 88. Okay, so we have all of the even degrees of sine. And then we've still got our sine of 45 degrees. That still hasn't changed, right? And our denominator hasn't changed either. We've just rewritten it. Okay. But now we're getting very close because you can see the sine of 2 degrees cancels with the sine of 2 degrees in the bottom. And then the top, the sine of 4 degrees cancels with the sine of 4 degrees. In fact, all of them cancel up until 88 cancels with the 88. So what are we left with? We're left with sine of 45, the last term, over... 2 to the power of 44. Hey, hey, and then what's this? This is 1 over root 2, and then times 1 over 2 to the power of 44. In other words, this is 1 over 2 to the power of, so this is 88 over 2, so it's going to be 89 over 2. And that's it. So... That's the answer to part G.